how does Bommel mechanics account for the double slit experiment? I mean, how is it possible that we can see an interference pattern even if we know that the particle went through only one of the two slits? Let us just go through the experimental facts step by step. At each run of the experiment, just one single spot appears on the detection screen. In Bohmian mechanics, one identifies the spot with a point particle. This particle runs from the source to the screen on a continuous path and therefore goes through just one of the slits. But even though the particle goes through just one of the slits, the other slit, being open or closed, influences what happens. So the particle is in a sense not free. Some additional phys physical entity uh, is present and must be considered in the description. The appearance of the interference fringes suggests that this additional entity must be some kind of wave. The steps na naturally lead to the Bohmian description of this experiment. Each particle follows a continuous trajectory that can necessarily just go through one of the slits, but also a wave is present that guides the particle movement and travels across both slits. The wave is responsible for the appearance of the interference pattern. One important point in the analysis of the double slit experiment is usually considered to be the fact that if one determines through which of the slits the particle went, then the interference pattern disappears. Of course, to determine through which slit the particle went, one needs to interact with it. And you can easily imagine that it is this interaction that destroys the interference pattern. But very often, the conclusion that is drawn from this is that it is our knowledge about the path followed by the electron that causes the interference pattern to disappear. Now I ask you to carefully and critically consider this assertion. Does it really make sense to think that simply getting to know something we are able to influence what actually happens? Do you really think that the electrons in an experiment behave differently than any other electron in the universe because we know something about them. How can the electron know what we know? The final lesson here is that physics is about nature, not about us, even if we do the experiments and we write the theories. We should always remember this.